In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create properly formatted documents using N8N and putting it into Google Docs so that the headers are formatted correctly, bolding shows up correctly, and it just looks good. Because otherwise, like if you would normally create a, a workflow like this where you have some AI agent write something out, all right, let's go ahead and do that. And it's gonna upload it to Google Docs. You know, this is just a, a standard Google Docs document. It's, it's currently writing it in Markdown. All right, we just have, you know, upload into a document. I got the document over here. It's about to put it in and it's gonna put it in, in Markdown. However, the Markdown doesn't transition into proper heading and proper bolding and all that. And if I set this as HTML, it would just put in the HTML code. But I found a way that I can go ahead and actually use N8N and use a little bit of code that I'm gonna go ahead and give you. You'll find it for free in my free school community. Just click the link in the description below. You'll be able to download this workflow. Anyway, let's go ahead and unhook this here. All right, so same process. I just uploaded, you just saw it happen, right? You saw the text pop up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this same workflow here up that I have here. Um, I just put out another video the other day on the markdown node. This is really cool. It's gonna take the markdown that this AI agent's gonna write. It's gonna convert it to HTML right here. It's then gonna pass it through the set field node. I'm just setting some information, like I'm gonna create the name of the document that we're gonna create. I'm uh, passing forward the content that is the, now the HTML content. I've put in a drive folder ID, and in this case, it's this folder here. All right, all that's I'm just putting into a set field node. It's then gonna run through this code node here. Now this code, I don't know what it means, all right? I don't read code, I don't understand code, but I was able to get Claude to help me make this and it's gonna process everything I need. We're gonna run it through this HTTP node here that is actually going to create a drive file, not creating a Google Docs file, creating a drive file. All of the information's already put in through the code node. I set up my drive credentials. My upload type is multi-part, supports all drives, is set to true. I'm setting a body of raw with multi-part slash related semicolon boundary equals divider and my body is just json.rawdata, all right? So when I run this, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, since I already wrote the, the markdown, so here's the markdown. All right, I'll go one by one, show you. Here's my HTML, or my markdown to HTML node. It's gonna convert it. So here is still that markdown, but if you scroll down, here's the HTML, okay? I'm gonna pass that through the set fields. It's just gonna come in here. Just gonna go ahead and uh, set those. So document name is test document. HTML content is what we just created. And my drive folder ID is the name of this folder that we're gonna be putting everything into, all right? We're gonna come here to the prepare request code, execute that. It's gonna put it all together in a way that Google Drive needs to understand it in order to be able to create my document. And we're gonna go ahead and then run this one just like that. And it will have created my, I think it's called test document. Yep, test document. Come over to my drive, wait just a second. I could refresh, I guess. There it is, test document, open that up, and boom, we got proper headings. There's H1, H2, we got bolding, we got lists, all right? We got dividers, we got links, all right? And the links are clickable. Now, in this case, the link that it gave me um, is actually broken because I didn't actually, I just said make up a link to something about the, the thing. It says report compiled by OpenAI Assistant. Now that's an interesting one. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where in this, this because I don't think I've seen that before. Um, I, I, it might have just written it in here at the end. Yeah, it wrote it in itself. So, you know, that's just part of the system prompt. It's a, it's a janky system prompt. I didn't spend any time making it. But the important point is, here's the link. We'll go ahead and click on the link and yeah, it's, it's a link that works, even though it didn't actually go anywhere because again, it was a janky system prompt. The important point is, if up to this point, you've been like, ah, darn, if only I could get stuff into Google Docs and make it look good, I would be able to just conquer. Guess what? You can now, all right? The code, this workflow is available in my free school community. Just go and get it right now, absolutely for free. If you like this video, Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. It really does help out getting this information out there to those who need it. 
Also in my free school community, I got a ton of helpful workflows. I got a ton of other tutorials. In my advanced community, I've got some really cool stuff not available in the free community. Please check that out as well. As always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.